today's video i am going to explain the most important problem from functions of a complex variables see here if w is equal to log z we have to find dw by dz and determine where w is not analytic or else it can be asked like this show that the real and the imaginary parts of the function w is equal to log z satisfies the cr equations where z is not zero see here we have to consider w is equal to log z see for that what is given given w is equal to given w is equal to log z got it and the next one is so let w is equal to let w is equal to u plus i into v u plus i into v as we have z is equal to as we know that z is equal to see here z is equal to x plus i y so or else in the polar coordinates it is e power r into i theta so r times of e power i theta and we also have see here we also have r is equal to root over x square plus y square and theta is equal to this is tan inverse of y by x so how we will get this see i'll show you x is equal to as you know x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to this is r sin theta if we square and add on both sides then x square plus y square is equal to r square cos theta plus r square sin theta so r square if we take this will be cos square theta plus sin square theta squaring and adding so this will be x square plus see here this will be x square plus y square is equal to r square and we got r value as x square plus y square so this is the thing i wrote and next consider y by x so here y divided by x what is y here y is nothing but r sin theta so this is r sin theta and what is x here this is r cos theta so if i cancel this r then y by x see here y by x will be tan theta and theta value is equal to theta value is equal to this is tan inverse of y by x see here first let w is equal to u plus iv z is equal to as you know that is x plus iv in the cartesian form and r into e power i theta in the polar form so from this r is equal to x square plus so this is x square plus y square so i have shown you how we got this and theta value is equal to tan inverse of y by x so i wrote this and the next one is we have to show whether it satisfies the cr equations what is given here w is equal to log z is given so after giving w is equal to log z and let me substitute here so we have z is equal to so we have z is equal to so here x plus i y is equal to r into e power i theta see here in place of z so if i take log on both sides so this is log of x plus i y is equal to this is log of r into e power i theta and the next one here is this can be written as log of x plus i y can be written as log a into b can be written as see here log a plus this is log b log a plus log b see this will be log of log of x plus i y is equal to log r plus if i send to front that is e i theta into this is log e as you know that log e value is 1 so this can be transformed into log of x plus i y is equal to this is log r plus i into theta as we have r value as root over x square plus y square and theta value as tan inverse of x by y if i substitute then see what happens here then log of see here this is log of x plus i y is equal to log of what is r here r is nothing but root over x square plus y square plus i times of theta is nothing but tan inverse of tan inverse of this is y by x so this is y by x see this can be written as log of x plus i y is equal to this is log of x square plus y square per half 
into i times of this is tan inverse of this is y by x got it i can bring half to the other side if i bring half to the other side then see what happens then log of x plus i y can be written as half times of log of x square plus y square plus i times of this is tan inverse of y by x okay clear what is this we have w is equal to so we have w is equal to u plus i v so i am equating to this that is w is equal to u plus i v is equal to so this value is nothing but half times of log of x square plus y square plus i times of this is tan inverse of y by x so if we compare the real parts and next imaginary part so this is imaginary part so if we compare what will be the u value so u value will be so u value will be this is half times of log of x square plus y square and the next what is the v value here v is equal to this is tan inverse of this is y by x now in order to prove that it satisfies the cr equations we have to differentiate with respect to x for one time and y for one time see here dou u by dou x so dou u by dou x is equal to half times of log x is nothing but 1 by x that is x square plus y square and with respect to x 2x value is equal to 2x so if i cancel this one so if i cancel then see what happens so if i cancel oh sorry sorry two for one time so not this one so what remains here so this will be u at x is equal to this is x times of x square plus y square and next if i differentiate with respect to y so u y is equal to half it's already there log x is nothing but 1 by x that is x square plus y square for y square so we have to write 2y and now if i cancel 2 so if i cancel 2 then ui value will be this is y times of y times of x square plus y square so we got u at x so we got ux value as well as so this value is nothing but ui value and next later we have to differentiate v with respect to x and with respect to y see here v with respect to x if i do so i'll change so v with respect to x so as you know that tan inverse of x is nothing but 1 by 1 plus x square so this is x square and again with respect to x here there is x y it is a constant and 1 by x derivative is nothing but minus 1 by x square so v with respect to x is nothing but see here 1 by 1 plus this is y square by x square this is minus y by x square so vx value will be if i take x square lcm then x square moves to the numerator and this is x square plus y square if i take x square as lcm and send to numerator then this will be like that x square by x square plus y square into minus y by x square now if i cancel x square from the numerator and denominator then what remains then vx so the derivative with respect to x will be minus y by this is x square plus y square so now we got vx and now we have to differentiate with respect to y now i am going to differentiate with respect to y so we got v value as see what is v here v is nothing but tan inverse of y by x see here so we have to differentiate this with respect to y so vy value is equal to what is tan inverse of x so which is nothing but 1 by 1 plus so this x square so this whole thing tan inverse of x and again with respect to y i have to make a derivative for y it is 1 so 1 by x remains so vy value will be 1 by 1 plus this is y square by x square into 1 by x and vy value is equal to vy value is equal to if i take lcm x square and send to the numerator this will be x square by x square plus y square into this is 1 by x 
and now if I cancel this one so if I cancel this x for one time and see what happens here vy value is equal to vy value is equal to this is x by x square plus y square x square plus y square so now we got the values of vx vy ux and ui see let's come back this is ux this is ui this is vx and this is vi see now according to the cr equations so we have certain equations what is ux here so ux is nothing but so this is ux so ux is equal to so this is x by x square plus y square and uy value is equal to see i'll show you this is y y y by this is x square plus y square what is vx so vx value is minus y by this is x square plus y square and what is vy vy value so vy value is equal to x by this is x square plus y square so if we have cr equations what are cr equations so cr equations are nothing but cr equations are see what are cr equations here cr equations is equal to ux is equal to vy and uy is equal to minus vx and see ux value is equal to ui so we got the same values so since since we have ux value is equal to ui value and next ui value is equal to minus of vx so minus of vx so when we compare these two are equal and these two differs by minus one so see since cr equations are satisfied then we see that the cr equations are satisfied The CR equations are satisfied. CR equations are uh, satisfied and also the partial derivatives are continuous except it also the partial derivatives are continuous. Also the partial derivatives are continuous. are continuous except at point 0 comma 0 at point 0 comma 0 it is continuous therefore therefore w is equal to log z so we got w is equal to log z is analytic is analytic everywhere except at z is equal to 0 except at z is equal to 0 now we have to do dw by dz so if we want to make a derivative what is w here this is log z and dw by dz is nothing but dw by dz is equal to this is dou u by dou x plus i times of this is dou u by dou x so, do u by do x plus i times of do u by do x. See here. Now, dw by dz value will be dw by dz value will be what is do u by do x? Do u by do x is nothing but x by x square plus y square. So, this value is nothing but x by this is x square plus y square plus i times of do v by do x. What is dou v by dou x? Dou v by dou x value is minus y by minus y by x square plus y square. That is minus y by x square plus y square. Then dw by dx value is equal to if I take x square plus y square LCM. So this will be x minus i y. So this will be x minus i y. So this can be written as dw by dz dx can be written as so this can be written as this is x plus i y into this is x minus i y so this is x minus i y already there is x minus i y so if i cancel this for one time then this will be so what is the value here this is 1 by x plus i y therefore dw by dx value is equal to this is 1 by z where z is not equal to 0 so this is nothing but 1 by z 
so this is how we have to solve and see here this is very very easy and very simple so let me explain you one time so w is given as w is given as log z and w can be let us take w is equal to u plus i v so we have z is equal to x plus i y and in polar coordinates r into u power i theta so directly we can write r is equal to root over x square plus y square i gave a clarity here how we got r is equal to root over x square plus y square and theta is equal to tan inverse of y by x so we have to take this so x plus i y is equal to e power r into e power i theta so we have to apply log on both sides so th these are all the things which is very clear r value i wrote as a root over x square plus y square theta value as this and after solving so this will be u value and this will be v value so we got u and v so now we have to differentiate with respect to x for one time y for one time for v we have to differentiate with respect to x for one time and v for one time so if we compare this one so we got ux is equal to vy and uy is equal to minus vx and these are the cr equations therefore the cr equations are satisfied and also the partial derivatives are continuous except at 0 comma 0 therefore w is equal to log z is analytic everywhere except at w is equal to 0 and again from the question we have to find out dw by dz so we have to find dw by dz so for that do u by do x plus i times of do u by do y do v by do x so this is how we have to solve and this is so simple if you practice definitely you can solve in the examination also so thank you so much and i'll be uploading so many so many videos and have a look at those please prepare Thank you so much.